Dodge is storming back into the pony car segment with the all-new Challenger. It's a monster of a car with tons of power and a bold design. Chevy and Ford had better pay attention because Mopar's latest muscle is one hot car. The first thing you notice about the Challenger is its styling. It looks mean and intimidating from any angle you view it. The long hood and short trunk make it look ready for action, and the narrow windows are restrictive, like battlements on a castle. The flat, unadorned side panels could be measured in acres, and the Ford's 20-inch wheels make a bold statement. But the car's most noticeable styling cue is the character line that runs down its side. As it reaches the rear fender, it kicks up dramatically, creating a swooping chamfer that's unlike anything else on the road. Chrysler spent a lot of time tweaking the Challenger's exterior, and it looks menacing, but they also sweat the details inside. The cockpit is nicely detailed with soft materials from door to door. It's probably the best interior that Chrysler's done in ages. And word is the top brass freed up a big chunk of money to improve it late in the car's development, and it shows. The quality is really there, but the Challenger isn't about fit, finish, or ergonomics. It's about driving. From the acceleration to the handling to the sound, it has winner written all over it. Every great performance car starts with a great engine and the Challenger SRT8 is no different. It comes with a 6.1 liter Hemi V8 that pumps out 425 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. It has no problem spinning the rear tires or flying from zero to 60 in only 4.9 seconds. In fact, there's so much power, it doesn't matter what gear you're in or where the tack needle's pointing. It just moves. But along with the power comes a sound that means business. To test the Challenger's handling, Chrysler invited us out to Willow Springs Raceway in California for a chance to stretch its legs. Around this old school circuit, the car really shines. It tracks as straight as a Kansas highway with quick on-center response and great road feel. The comfortable, well-bolstered seats keep you firmly in place even when driving at the limit. Speaking of limits, Chrysler says the Challenger tops out somewhere beyond 170 miles an hour. Despite its sporty dynamics, the car's surprisingly practical. The back seat is roomy enough for two adults and the trunk will swallow a couple of golf bags. As sporty as the Challenger is, it's really heavy, weighing in at 4,000 pounds. That's about 500 pounds more than a Mustang GT. Surprisingly though, it doesn't feel that bulky. It drives like a much smaller car thanks to its tight suspension and accurate steering. Plus, 425 horsepower makes up for a lot of that weight. But if that's not enough power for you, Dodge is rumored to be working on a bigger 6.4 liter Hemi. They're also readying a more affordable V6 version of the car. It should be on sale by September and return way better gas mileage than the SRT8's average of 15 miles per gallon. Speaking of numbers, 6400 is the magic one for 2009. That's how many Challengers Chrysler plans on building. Amazingly though, they've had orders for more than 11,000, with A-list celebrities lining up to buy the car. This is great news for Dodge because it's piquing people's interest in the brand. People that would otherwise never buy a Chrysler product are paying hefty premiums to get their hands on a Challenger. With each of the big three about to field powerful pony cars, it almost feels like 1970 again. But one look at the Challenger's sticker price of $37,995 and $2,100 on top of that for a gas guzzler tax and you're right back in 2008. By the way, don't expect to find one for that price either. If dealers have any surplus cars, which is very unlikely, they're practically guaranteed to sell for well above sticker.